So here's your question. Do parents or other adults have the right to ban books from school libraries? Some people say yes. Parents have the right to decide what content their children are exposed to. They claim that books in the young adult genre often contain adult themes that young people aren't ready for. Some of these themes include sexually explicit content, LGBTQ plus issues, racism, anti-police perspectives, profanity, and drug use. Many of these people say that the term book banning is extreme. They argue that if parents want their kids reading about controversial issues, that is fine, just do it at home, not at a public library for school children. Other people, however, say books should not be banned from school libraries. They claim that parents have the right to control what their kids read at home, but don't have the right to restrict the availability of books for others. In fact, they argue that banning books violates students' First Amendment rights, and that, quote, local school boards may not remove books from school libraries simply because they dislike the ideas contained in the books, end quote. They also claim that banning these books deprives students of essential cultural and historical knowledge, as well as differing points of views. So once again, here is your question. Do parents or other adults have the right to ban books from school libraries? If yes, what books do they have the right to ban? If no, why precisely should books in school libraries not be banned?